Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley, AKA The Wayward Stitcher, and I'm here with River Song. This is our new kitten. She's three and a half months old, and we adopted her from our um, local PetSmart. Well, I say local, but they're like 45 minutes away. Um, say, hi to, say hi to everyone, River. And she's like, no, I'm good, thanks. I wanna go play with Faith. Um, yeah, we went to PetSmart to purchase other things and came out with her. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and the funny story about that is, is when we walked into the shelter and we saw her, um, I just thought she was the cutest thing. And my boyfriend's daughter really wanted to get another kitten and I was like... I don't know, we really shouldn't. We live in a small apartment, we already have two cats, and then I'm thinking, but she's so darn cute. Um, <clears throat> I have to keep an eye on her because all my stitching stuff is here and she'll probably be bouncing all over it. Um, she was already trampling on my heaven and earth, so. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we went in and um, yeah, it was like, we don't really need another cat, but she's so darn cute. And then it took a lot of, you know, um, didn't really, she didn't really need to persuade me. It was more me trying to persuade my boyfriend. Um, and even he was like, I'm not getting involved. You guys fight it out. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, we, um, her, um, oh, easy girls. Come on. If you, there, yeah, just leave. Um, her original name was Poppy and we were like, heck no. <laughs> so, um, being the, um, large Doctor Who fans that we are, we named her after River Song. Um, and if you guys don't know who River Song is, you're gonna have to watch Doctor Who and figure that out. Because I'm not gonna spoil it for those of you who don't know and might be actually interested in watching Doctor Who. Um, anyways, so, um, yeah, that's the excitement that we've got for you now and they're going to be fighting in the living room <laughs> river tends to get i mean as a kitten she tends to get pretty rough sometimes so anyway i tried to record this video before and then my boss called me <clears throat> and i accidentally declined his call <laughs> and, uh anyway oops um so i'm gonna try it again and hopefully we can get through it this time without having any phone calls or interruptions um, so as far as stitching goes, I have a lot to show you guys. I took two trips since my last video up to Stitch It Central in London, Ontario, um, and spent a fair amount of money in there. Um, <clears throat> so I know in my last video I said that I've been really trying hard not to spend money, um, and to, you know, stitch for the stuff that I have, which is fine. I haven't really... I can't say I haven't started anything new because I have started new stuff. Um, but I, the stuff that I've bought, I'm not really planning on starting except for one small little thing, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but what I do for work is I do my main job for the racetrack and then I have a secondary job, which is to drive programs out to other towns who, you know, because of COVID, they might not be able to come visit us at the track. So we, um, I drive out programs to these towns and I get paid for my mileage. So, um, I've been using that mileage money to spend on stitchy stash. <laughs> um, and I'm just so excited about my haul for this week. And I can't wait to show it all to you guys. Cause there's so much, um, <clears throat> Moving went good. We had my boss and his son and another one of our co-workers help us move. Um, so we're more or less settled now. There's still some things that are kind of in disarray. As you can tell, our walls are pretty much bare. We still haven't really decided what we're hanging yet. I have hung two of my cross stitches in the apartment, however. Uh, so eventually you guys will see that. The apartment tour probably isn't going to happen for a while. My whip parade is probably going to be held off. Um, just for a little while longer because I really just am not organized yet. I don't have my stitching stuff in a, you know, it's just kind of here and there. It's not really in its own home yet. So, sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Um, <clears throat> so eventually those things will come, but right now, unfortunately, I just don't have the time. Um, probably when the um, racing season is over at the racetrack, which is in another three weeks, um, then I'll probably do that. We have three more racing days left for the year, and then after that, we're done. Um, we're done pretty much two weeks before my birthday, so that'll give me some time to like put some stuff together for you guys and hopefully put it out. Because there was um, surprisingly a fair amount of interest in people seeing my whip parade, so... Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just go right into it. Um, because like I said, I've got a lot to show and I promised my boss that I'd be at work in half an hour. So I really got to like power through this and get going. Um, so let's start with, uh, whips first. <clears throat> this first whip, um, is, you guys are going to hear some zipping and some baggies I'm sorry um you guys have um been seeing a lot of lately on Instagram and it's my goldfinch and lilacs by dimensions and you're gonna have to excuse me because I'm gonna take it off the q-snap I put it on the q-snap and forgot that it was on the q-snap so now I'm gonna have to take it off real quick so I can show you guys what my progress is um and I'm gonna try really hard not to bump my camera but the um our apartment floors are really not level and so the table that my camera is on might wobble just a little bit and I apologize if it does. I just have nowhere else really to um, put anything. Um, so <clears throat> here's my progress on my, uh, my birds. As you can tell there's quite a lot of progress since last time. Um, I did not have any of this finished. The last time I stitched. I finished this lilac mostly. There's still a couple of stray little stitches in there that need to be finished. I finished these leaves and I started up in this stem of lilac as well. So there's really not a whole lot left on this project and I'm really hoping that if I can you know maybe take it out to my parents or maybe you know sometime this week I can finish this up that would be great. Um, but I really do love this project and I can't wait for it to be finished. <laughs> It's one of my more favorite projects, but since we've moved, I've just, you know, I've, I have stitched quite a bit. This is all progress that I've stitched on this since we moved, which is, you know, quite a bit. Um, she's chewing on the bed. River. <laughs> Crazy kitten. Um, you know how kittens are. They want to, like, play with everything that they find. Would you... <laughs> Anyway, um, I've been stitching this on this primarily and like one other project since I've moved. Um, and you guys will see that um, shortly. My next whip is, you're going to have to pardon me reaching because everything is like way on this other side of the bed, which I really should bring closer to me. So I'm not reaching so far. Oh. Just a sec, guys. Okay, I was planning on filming on the other side of the bed. Now, um, I was going to show you guys Canadian Beauty today, but I guess I didn't get any progress done on it. I had said the last time that while we were watching our Marvel movie marathon that I was going to work on her. The rest of Joan Elliott July, I did not work on her, and I'm kind of disappointed in myself. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, so my next project is my Sailor Venus figure uh, by Abby Sue Designs on Etsy. And I got a decent chunk of progress on this since the last time you guys saw her. So there we go. <clears throat> working on the hair. So, um, and I started working up her neck so I could get to her face. I love these designs. And I'm really sorry for all the wrinkles and everything. Um, I don't tend to iron my work until I'm finished, so... Um, mostly because I'm afraid of somehow ruining the fabric or something by, you know, ironing it too much. Um, I don't know if that's really a thing. Um, but if anybody could let me know about that, I just, you know, 
and I don't really have anywhere to iron here in the apartment. I have no space whatsoever for really anything. So that's project number two. So those are the only whips that I have this week, unfortunately. Um, yeah, everything else is new starts. And I'm slightly ashamed of myself for not having better self-control. But at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so my first uh, new start is actually a Dimensions kit. And it's Silent Flight by Dimensions Gold. I love this so much. Um, it's for my boyfriend. Um, I'm stitching it for him and hopefully next year maybe I'll have it done for his birthday or for Christmas. And it's just a small start. This is being stitched on, um, I forgot to mention with my other projects, I'm kind of terrible with that. The Goldfinches is being stitched on 14 count white Ada that came with the kit. <clears throat> and Sailor Venus is on a 16 count um, like slate gray Ada and from what company I couldn't tell you I got it at the thrift store so um, this is being stitched on 18 count beige Ada <clears throat> and you're gonna have to excuse the wrinkles because as I've already stated I don't iron my work before I start or before I so that's my meager little start we have the eagle has a face and a beak so that's my small start on my silent flight by dimensions it's going to be, um, once, once I get going on it, like once the eagle's finished, the rest of the project's going to go by easy breezy because it's all half stitched, the background. So <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully this will stitch up really quickly. And, um, right now, <laughs> this is funny. Um, my silent flight is just in this giant tub. Um, the threads and everything that I need for it are in here. Um, I got some of these tubs at the dollar store and I'm hoping to start using them for project storage, floss storage, um, you know, um, pattern storage, fabric storage, etc. So, because <clears throat> these tubs are just so nice and they're cheap, so. Alright, oh, I'll put the pattern picture back in. Okay, and then my next new start is another Heaven and Earth. Um, I did not need to start another Heaven and Earth, but here we are. Um, I couldn't help it, obviously. Uh, can we, can we ever help it when we, you know, start new Hades? Um, I started Realm of Enchantment by Ann Stokes. And how can I not, right? This is such a pretty pattern. And I am enjoying so much of it. Um, <clears throat> this is where I am. So this is about 1400 stitches, I think. Last night when I was stitching, I was working up in here and I think I'm at the 1400 mark. And I'm doing some parking, some cross country, as I always do. I kind of do mixed media when I'm <laughs> stitching on these things. Um, I can never just stick to one thing. Like I, you know, I'm trying to get across this top of the, this page so that I can move my cue snap down and, um, you know, then I have, you know, more room to work kind of thing. Cause this top of the, the top of this is kind of not, it's not really fastened in as well as I would like. So, um, yeah. And this project has been in my brand new Lowry stand for the last couple of days. And so I've been using that. I finally caved and bought a Lowry stand. Um, before I met my boyfriend, I really, really was very hesitant to spend that kind of money on myself. Um, but he talked me into it. So I did it and I'm very happy. I just have yet to figure out what kind of, you know, position for my frame works best for me and my arms and my neck and my back and all that kind of stuff but yes I love this project so much I love the colors <clears throat> it's gonna be beautiful when it's done um this is um the quick stitch realm of enchantment I forgot to mention that and it's being stitched on 28 count um Lugana that I just bought I think it's like a Charles Craft Lugana so and 
And that's it for whips and new starts, unfortunately. Like I said, there's really not much there. Um, the majority of this video is going to be haul and plans for um, the next two weeks or the next week. Hopefully, maybe I can start filming every week. I would like to do that. That just depends on whether or not I actually get a lot of stitching done or not. So we'll see. Um, so let's get straight into the haul because like I said there's a lot to show you guys I'm so excited okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use my heaven and earth at, at certain points just to kind of give you guys a white background um, for some of these threads that I purchased because um, I do not have anything else here to help with that at the time being <clears throat> so the first thing I purchased now I think I've mentioned before that the Riolis kits, I'm on the fence about liking them. I don't really like the thread that comes with them, but I purchased a kit anyways because I couldn't help it. This one's so pretty. It's just called Blue Jays. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those pretty blues. And I don't know what my thing is lately, but all of a sudden I'm into stitching birds. I, I don't know why, but I'm not sorry because this is really pretty. And it would hang well in our apartment, I think, if I finished it up. But getting square frames is like really difficult, so it would have to be it would have to be stitched. Or it would have to be custom framed, probably. Or I would have to get a frame at Michael's. Um <clears throat> the next piece of haul. Where did it go? Did she fall on the floor? Give me two seconds, guys. I'm so sorry. She did fall on the floor. Of course she did. Now, I'm in love with this. And I will show you guys what I purchased to go with it. I bought another Joan Elliott design. Like, I need them. Like, I need that hole in the head. But I bought Fairy of the Rainbow. Because look at her. She is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Okay. Now, for her... I purchased fabric. Now you guys tell me what you think. This is um, 28 Count Lugona in Crystal Skies by Pole Stitches. I think it's Pole Stitches. It's either Pole Stitches or Picture This Plus. I can't remember which, but it's this beautiful purple blue. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to use this for her. I think she will look amazing on it. I think she will look absolutely amazing. <clears throat> on that fabric and then of course with that I purchased some of the materials which is um ph03 just nice gold some 4252 beads like a purple um 03047, which is like a blue. My camera doesn't want to focus. Come on, camera. There we go. No. Still doesn't want to focus. I'm not going to fight with it. Um, 02031, which is some green. Like, I don't know why my camera just does not want to do the focusing thingy. Oh, well. Um, oops, I just threw some thread on the floor. At River, do not touch. Some green Krennic. Uh, this is 015 High Luster. Do not touch that, thank you. No. And some 62010. Yeah. So I was actually having issues with these, um, these petite glass beads, I think. Or was it the antique glass ones? Just give me two seconds to look at this. Um, cause some of these, some, this called for like antique seed beads or something like that. And for some reason I couldn't find the seed beads. Petite glass beads. So the seed beads, if I'm not mistaken, are the smaller beads, correct? Like they're the really tiny ones. And then you've got the antique glass beads, which are a little bit bigger. Um, so, 
I'm trying to read this pattern. GS bead, which is glass seed bead, right? Then you've got your antique glass seed beads. Now, this is just antique glass bead. This is not an antique glass seed bead. So does anyone know if this one comes in the seed bead um, and where I could get it? Because I'm thinking I was having an issue with that. And then there's the petite... Uh, the frosted glass beads. I don't know if that's supposed to be a seed bead as well. Um, and the petite glass beads. So I might have to just jump into the Joan Elliott um, cross stitch group and ask them what they think because, you know, what better way to figure things out than to ask the people that are stitching the project, right? Um, but anyways, um, that's what I bought and that's you know, my plan for her, um, with that fabric. So hopefully she'll look really well on there. Um, and yeah, thankfully this time I actually got some, um, you know, fabric names on my work. Um, the last time I went, the one time I went there, I got fabric for my Joan Elliott and they did not put a label on it as to what count or what company or whatever made it. So I had no real idea. So there's that. Um, I also purchased the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2021 issue. Um, I'll be coming back to this later because this is uh, has some plans in it as well. I bought this 2022 um, planner for myself for next year for my stitching. And I'm really hoping that maybe it will entice me to sh put in here, you know, my stitching and my plans and then I can just like bring it to my videos and you know I'm really hoping if I leave it with my stitching and not put it away in a cupboard somewhere that I'll actually like actively write in it every time I stitch <laughs> yeah famous last words right alrighty um all right so I've got I got five five patterns and threads to go with the patterns um, I'll start with the first one. This is Ink Circles Reflections of Canada. Why wouldn't I get that? Right? And I bought some thread for that as well. Now, all of these patterns I bought floss for them. Um, and I'll just use, like I said, I'll just use my Heaven and Earth to kind of help. I bought some classic color works in the, in ribbon red. I don't know how well that's going to show up. So that's what those are that's a really pretty color so that's for reflections of canada i still don't know what kind of fabric i'll stitch this on probably just white if i'm honest um and the next one's actually a set i bought the elemental dragons set by inca circles as well um so i got elemental dragons earth and maybe i might not even need my heaven and earth to help with this just maybe we can make this work and I bought classic color works bejeweled for that one yeah this is pretty accurate so lovely green to stitch that now my idea for this um, is to take all four patterns and stitch them on one piece of fabric one two three four um, they're all the same size so hopefully it should work and I'll stitch these on white as well probably um, the next one is the Air Elemental Dragons. And I bought Classic Colorworks Hydrangea for that one. This is like my favorite color by Classic Colorworks. <laughs> I uh, actually have a hydrangea plant outside my parents' house that is that color. So there's that one. Then there is also Fire. And I'll, I hope this, this, I don't think this is the same color. This is different. Uh, this is Ruby Slippers, also by Classic Color Works. <clears throat> oh, you got beans in your booty? Huh? And then water. This one's a little different. 
but my idea for this is that um, it reminds me of the sea. Um, and this is Classic Colorworks Key Largo. So this just reminds me of like the sea and sea foam and mermaids and stuff like that. So that is that. So yeah, hopefully these will stitch up really nice and quick and um, I can get the threads to look nice on those. And I, there is a pile of DMC that I've purchased. Um, a lot of this is just, oops, I'm dropping them more on the floor. These are the last that I needed of the new DMC colors. The, um, you know, from 1 to 32 or whatever it is that they have. I bought a whole bunch. And I also bought some, my, um... Boyfriend needed some needles, and I also needed some needles. I bought some John James needles. Um, I've never used John James needles before, but I thought I would try them out and see. Um, right now I'm using Boheme needles, but while I was there, they didn't really have the size of Boheme needles that I really wanted, so I just grabbed two packs of these. <clears throat> and last but not least, I have two more fabrics here. Now these ones are beautiful, okay? Not like the blue one wasn't beautiful, but this is, um, picture this plus in Meyer, I believe it's Meyer, and it's a 20, 28 count Lugana. Look at this, perfect for Halloween, right? I might even stitch something else on it, I'm not sure, but beautiful color. And then the last piece <clears throat> that I bought is actually hand-dyed Ada, and it's also by Picture This Plus um, in Phantom, and it's a 16 count Ada. Look at this, isn't this, oh my god, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know what I'm stitching on this yet, but boy will I be stitching something on it. That is very accurate representation of the color. It is beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use that. Okay, so <clears throat> now uh, for my plans for this uh, coming portion of my video. Um, <clears throat> I have recently started chatting a lot with Daydream Stitcher. Um, on Instagram, her and I decided that we were going to be stitchy friends, <laughs> which is great. Um, her and I actually have a lot in common and it's crazy. Um, we both share love of Joan Elliott and we both share a love for The Nightmare Before Christmas, which brings me to, um, my plans. Um, we were talking and I had this idea that since both her and I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, that we would stitch together... Now mind the fabric that's here because this is what I'm going to stitch it on. I'm just going to use it. Nightmare Before Coffee. We are going to stitch this together. And this is by Amy Baker of Barefoot Needle Art. And this is in the Halloween issue of Just Cross Stitch that I just showed you guys. So we're going to stitch this together. And I'm going to be stitching it, I think, on this um, 18 count modeled gray Ada that I got from Mo Sale ages ago. Um... It never had a name on it. It was just kind of one of those random colors and a friend had given this to me and I still have, you know, a fair chunk of it left. Uh, so this is the same fabric that I stitched my Trick or Treat Pals from, um, uh, Frosted Pumpkin Needle, uh, Frosted, bleh. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, um, was on this and also my Nora Corbett I stitched on here. Um, and speaking of Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, I actually forgot that I have one more bit of haul. So <clears throat> yeah, um, Mary and I are going to be um, doing that together. We're starting it tomorrow. So today's the 31st and tomorrow is Wednesday um, and we decided to do that. So it'll be a little stitch along for the two of us and it'll be fun. 
and then the last bit of haul I actually have in my tablet. So before we moved, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery had a 30% off sale on the, on their PDF patterns, <clears throat> and I picked up a couple because why wouldn't I? Um, because I love the Frosted Pumpkin, I really do. Um, so the first one that I bought from Frosted Pumpkin. Just waiting for my tablet to load. It's Happily Ever After. I saw people stitching this and I loved it. So I bought that one. And the other one I bought was the Storytime Sampler. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery makes such cute patterns. And then last but not least, um, I bought my zodiac sign, which is <clears throat> the dragon. So I bought the year of the dragon, and he is adorable. So that brings me to the end of my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as for stitchy plans, like I said, the only thing that I really have planned right now is that tiny little stitch along with uh, Daydream Stitcher. Um, I will link her channel below. If you don't follow her, you should because she does amazing work. Um, she's working on the <clears throat> Glendon Place of Sleepy Hollow right now along with Chris Cross Stitch and um, they are doing amazing work on that. Um, I really should have picked that pattern up when I was um, at Stitch at Central last week, but I didn't. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, so if you don't follow her, I'll post her link below and you can go and um, check her out. Like I said, great work. Um, and she's a super nice lady. Um, and I am think I'm really going to enjoy getting to know her better. Um, <clears throat> and I guess that's about it for me. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to work more on my heaven and earth. <clears throat> and um, try to finish off my, um, try to finish off my, goldfinches now that i have my lowry stand i'll be able to stitch more stitch faster etc etc so hopefully in the next week or two then i'll have a finish <clears throat> maybe i'll have two finishes if that nightmare before coffee stitches up really quickly um but yeah that's it for me guys it was so great to see you all um if you like what you see don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one Bye.